So in order to get started with the runtime module, I have created a sample script, a sweetlet script, where I have defined the runtime module. And if I just start my script, initially, I am trying to get most of the properties available in runtime. I am trying to get the execution context of this particular script. I am also trying to check whether this particular feature is enabled, which is called as advanced billing. On the other hand, I am trying to get the account ID, country, and the environment type, whether it is a sandbox or production, something like that, and also the execution context and number of processors count I have, and number of queues I have, and the version of the account, and the context type, this should be an enum value mostly, and this will also be an enum value of the environment types, and I have logged all the other details of this particular runtime which I have gathered so far. On the other hand, I am trying to get the current user level details also, like ID, name, email, role ID, role, department, location, contact, subsidiary, and the role center. So what is the permission level provided for this user with transaction delete? Whether it is create full or view, something like that. And I am trying to get the user preference set for the language. And also I have logged all the user level information which I have gathered so far. And after this I am trying to get the script level details by using the get current script API. And now I am trying to get the script parameter value which is defined on the script. And what has been the remaining usage after executing all the above methods and the APIs and the API version of the script, bundle IDs, whether the script has been used in any of this bundles, the deployment ID, script ID, the log level of this particular script record deployment. And also I can check the percentage complete of this particular script. But since it is a sweetlet, I can't use this percent complete and this is not actually supported in uh, a sweetlet. This can be used on schedule script. I have logged all the values which I have gathered so far for the script level details. I have used another API called as get current session. It is gonna, which is gonna give me the session level details. And I'm trying to get a session called as my session object. If the, if there is a session called as my session object session, I'm gonna log the value of that. If there is no session created, I'm gonna see the session does not exist. And I'm gonna create my own session where I'm gonna name it as scope and I'm going to provide some value for that session called as global and I'm trying to retrieve the value of that particular session this API using get usually we can use this uh, set and get session properties if you want to pass some values from user event before submit to after submit finally I've logged the session scope value here I have already uploaded this code to my Netsuit account and if I go to my Netsuit account and this is the sweetlet and I've created a small one I also created one sample parameter so now let's go to the deployment and open the deployment record. Now let's check the parameter value. So right now I have set the parameter value to test param value. And now let's execute this particular sweetlet. I'm going to click on this URL, which is going to execute me this particular sweetlet. Okay, now the sweetlet will have executed successfully. I know it's a blankage because we don't have any forms or fields, something like that. We are just trying to run the script. So let's go back to our deployment. And if I just click on this execution log and if I click refresh, so now we have received all the logs from our script. Now let's go from the beginning of our log. Initially, we try to log all the runtime properties available. We can see the account ID, the country, type of account or the environment type, I would say. And the execution context is sweetlet. The total processor count is 15. The version is 2023.1. And these are the context type, different context type enum values available. And these are the different environment type values available. The advanced billing feature is enabled or not. It says it has been enabled. And we tried logging the current user details. You can see all the current user details here. We also tried to check whether this transaction delete permission level, which is being shown as four as an internal ID and what is the language preference set by this particular user. It says English. And also we try to log the current script details. We can see all the current script details. It has all the values like param values, remaining usage, GPA version, bundle IDs. We are also able to retrieve the session details. Initially it is empty. So we created our own and we try to retrieve it. We are getting the output also from that. So that's it guys. I hope this runtime module would be helpful for you. 